can you walk us through the tangible steps just in case somebody is in their own basement? Somebody is, is right now with 93 set in their pocket and is tired. Like, you know, you grew up in the hood just like I grew up. Yes. And we have seen so many people who have been down on their luck, people who have been strung out on drugs. And I can remember, even with my own family members, taking them to rehab. They didn't leave in rehab. Right. They them, pleading with them to right. get off these drugs, stop drinking, stop doing all of this. But it's always when they're ready. Like, right. you can push them. As you, can, you can take them and look. I'm taking you to a facility, they'll leave because they're not ready. But it's that day that they wake up and they say to themselves, I'm tired of being tired. I'm tired of living life the way I've been living it and I deserve more. Right. So for anybody who's listening, can you just help us with what were your steps? What are some tangible steps that people can take right now, this minute, if they find themselves in a position that you were in? Well, I like to just piggyback before I get into that off of something that you just said that was super powerful. Uh, the first step is the person has to get to a point of disgust. Like, I just, I can't live like this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I am valuable or uh, I have now placed a value on my life. Um, there's an interesting quote that says, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Here's what was so powerful about that. The student needs to be ready. <laughs> the teacher's always here, Sean. The teacher's life. But sometimes we're just not ready for that. So the teacher won't appear until we're ready. There are five steps or five tangible things that someone, it doesn't matter where they are, if they utilize these uh, steps, they can dramatically change the course of their life in an instant. The first one is you got to decide. Like you literally, like, I mean, you can't even be on a fence anymore because indecision is a decision. It's just a decision to fail, right? Yes. So you got to decide, do I want to be on this fence and not decide to go after my dream or my goal? Or do I want to go after my dream and go after my goal? So I got to decide. And then I got to decide what it is that I actually want, right? We don't get in life what we do want because we never decide what it is that we do. We only decide what we do want after what we don't want appears. Now I start to make the decision, hey, listen, I don't want to be broke. I don't want to be unhappy. I don't want to be frustrated. I don't want to be overweight. I don't want to, I don't want, now I'm making the decision, but now at that point it's kind of too late and I'm spending all my time going to get rid of everything that I don't want instead of focusing on what I do want. So I got to know what I do want. The next thing you want to do is you got to write your goals down. And a lot of people don't realize how powerful this is. They start putting pictures on a board and start doing all those things. No, you have to actually physically write down what it is that you don't want. Here's why people don't write down what it is that they do want. When we were younger, they used to say, use your imagination. We start using our imagination. They say, it's just your imagination. We don't use our imagination anymore. So we don't write our goals down. The second reason why we don't write our goals down is because we actually fear that we can't accomplish the thing that we write down. But how is it being in real estate, I know personally, that in order for me to build a building, build a house, build a structure, build anything, I need a blueprint. So in order for you to build the life of your dreams, you need a blueprint. Where can you go to see yourself on this map of your dreams, on this map of your goals? Are you living your life by design or are you living your life by default? Design says I'm living how I want to live. I'm driving how I want to drive. I'm happy. I'm shopping where I want to shop. I'm living where I want to live. By default says I'm not living the way I want to live. I'm working where I don't want to work. I'm in relationships with people I don't want to be in. So you actually have to write these things down and you got to write them down as though it's impossible for you to fail. And the reason why we don't write these things down 
as though they were impossible for us to fail is because every single year we write our goals down or we think we have our goals written down. And because we actually don't accomplish all the goals on our list, we keep rolling over goals. Remember back in the days, AT&T used to have rollover minutes? Yep. That's exactly what we do with our goals. Every single year, we're rolling our goals over, and now they're no longer inspiring. So when someone talks about goals or writing goals down, we like, nah, man, I ain't writing no goals down because the last time I tried to write my goals down, they ain't work. Here's the problem. The goals aren't inspiring anymore. So it's okay for you to take those goals that you had that you didn't accomplish 10 years ago and start all over. What is inspiring to me now? What's going to cause me to get up in the morning? What's going to cause me to leave a legacy? And these are questions that we can only ask for ourselves. So the first thing you want to do is you want to decide what you want. The second thing you want to do is you want to write your goals down. The third thing you want to do is you want to organize a list. And the reason why you want to organize this list is so powerful because a lot of us will write all of these things down and then we're going to spend the majority of our life going after a whole bunch of things at the same time. And here's what starts to happen to us. I'm giving all my energy to this. I'm giving all my energy to that. I'm giving all my energy to this. And now I don't understand time. I don't understand. And I'm all over the place and I'm just trying to achieve and accomplish one thing. When you organize a list, you say, hey, listen, this is important for me first. I want to go back to school. I want to buy a home. I want to do this. I want to get married. And you put that thing in an organized list. So now you're spending the dominating portion of your time going after that one thing that you actually want. We have to learn the difference between majors and minors. Majors is I'm spending the majority of my time going after the thing that I want the life that I want to live, and the people that I want to be around. I can't spend the majority of my time on my minors. My minors are the things that are taking me away from my goals, the things that are taking me away from my ideas, and the things that are taking me away from my dreams. So if my, th if my, my goals and my dreams are organized on my list, I can now say, hey, listen, I got four years to accomplish college. If I want to buy a home, these are the steps that it takes. You have my brother Matthew on here recently, and I know he talked about mortgages. But if you're thinking about buying a home, there are steps that you got to take to purchase a home. If I'm thinking about buying a home, thinking about going to college, thinking about getting a car, thinking about my kids, thinking about my family, there is no possible way I'm going to focus all my time and energy on that one thing. So you got to decide what you want. You got to write things down. You got to organize your list. And last but not least, you want to take some action. A lot of us don't take no action. We only take action when it's too late. Here's when it's too late. When the gap between us making the decision to go after what we want and reality sets in. That's when we decide to take the action or it's too late and we start procrastinating. When it's too late, uh, we're filled with life. We're filled with adversity. We feel with challenges. And now that dream that I had, that goal that I wanted to go after, it's now too challenging because I have too many things that I have to overcome in order for me to go after that goal. So when you decide what you want, you got to take action pronto, right away. You got to go after it. If you don't have the money, it's fine. We focus so much on the how to we forget about what we want. I don't have the money. I'm not going to do it. I'm not in shape. I'm not going to the gym. I'm not. <laughs> we focus on the how to so much. We never focus on what we want. So decide what you want. Write it down. Organize that list and start to take some action effective immediately. Whew. I feel like I should be paying you. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Jermaine. <laughs> My you brother. just gave somebody some gems. I can't wait to release this segment. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.